Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Did you all like my my joke? I, I joked and juked all of you with today's guess. All right, this game's supposed to be a pretty good one too. It's one of their higher rated games. <clears throat> mainstream kids game. Yeah, yeah. I I wouldn't tend to play mainstream kids games. Indigo prophecy. Uh yeah, my picture is tiny. I kind of thought that the um the bigger picture covered up too much of the game, so I'm going to go a little bit smaller this time. There we go. Already feeling the Detroit lives. I'm pretty sure this game is like a psychological thriller, if I know. Like, I know... Uh, great game values. I know someone's going to die, and I think that's like how it starts, and then it's like, I don't know how it all breaks down. We'll see. Yeah, the text was kind of squished, but it looks better now. Okay. Ooh, what's my name? Um... I mean, should I just be Jason? I don't know. No, I shouldn't be Jason. I should be the slop? Oh, uh, oh, from, from Ice Age, you mean? Sid? Yeah, Sid. Uh, okay, sure, I'll be Sid. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it is very stretch. It's a little weird. Maybe it's just my aspect ratio on my screen is weird. New movie chapter. Oh yeah, it is a uh, like you you're not directing the game, but you're you're doing more of the uh, affecting the narrative for this one. So we'll see what it's like. I don't really know what the gameplay is supposed to be. <clears throat> Atari. Take a dream. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth. And you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My okay. name is Lucas Kane. I think voice acting is My good story so far. is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know whatever. one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Nothing the same as the Fire Nation is. Indigo Prophecy. Well, I'm kind of hyped. So I'm ready to see this. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard the destiny universe. chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. <laughs> Until that night. I was just a pawn in my pawn life. Chaos. And I got in my pawn car and went to my pawn job. Actually, you could be a pawn job. That could, that could work. Diner. Do I get to play as the Raven? Oh. Starting off in the bathroom. There we go. This guy's like going. <laughs> saunter on over to the the faucet jeez Modeling. oh 
<laughs> controller vibrated scared me. Okay, I got some some heartbeats in my controller vibration here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, already kind of insane. Uh, ooh. Murder most foul, starting off the game. Oh boy. guy came to just go to the bathroom and now he's dead. Still the second worst, bath worst bathroom he's been in. Yeah, it's going to be one of these weird using games. Got it. Okay, the... The controller has still not stopped vibrating. If you were wondering, it's been going on for like, what, two minutes now? Okay, no, wait, actually what? not, now it's stopped. What, what have I done? Oh, I'm depressed. Lucas. I, I didn't want, it was like a dream. Quantic dream? <laughs> It's gonna be awkward. Quick, I, I, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. Oh, when this icon is left or right corners on the screen, your progress is being saved. Okay, I'm being recorded. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, oh. what's this? What? Did I do something with you? Oh no, there's my depression meter if I hit triangle. Oh, cool. Person view? I don't look at anything else. I just look. Oh, hey, what up? Oh, I can cycle between. Whoa! Cycle between viewpoints. What is this, this thing, though? Huh. Oh, I see. It's like. Very tanky, so it's always oriented towards. Hmm, interesting. Okay, and then if I go forward, does he go? Okay, I see. This is this is gonna be weird, guys. Um, what am I supposed to do with you? There's my depression beater again. I think I just leave, and I don't know what that little symbol is though. All right, I guess we're just leaving. Uh, huh. 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 Look at the door. Uh. Oh, knife. Okay. Do I just hit left to get the knife? What am I supposed to do? I should have maybe done the tutorial. Yes. Do this. That man looks very flat on the floor. <laughs> yeah, he does a little bit. I don't know. None of these buttons do anything. Is it, is it triangle? Okay, can options tell me what to do? There we go. Oh my god. Oh god. Uh mental state run camera characters. Now there's a select. I can hit this to get this I guess get this PDA. Oh, I wish my like phone told me my mental state. That'd be great. 
Be like, yeah, today I'm feeling 40% depressed. Oh, what does that say? Uh, use right analytics to change mode. Oh. oh, oh, it's right analog stick. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. L1 and R1, here we go, guys. Uh huh, get in the toilet, sir. Put you on the toilet. The cop doesn't need to see jack shit. Get out of here. Uh, okay, let's get that, get that knife, uh, and then knife. I've got to get rid of it. Uh, the toilet. Oh shit. I hope the timer started when I moved the body. Oh, I just got rid of it, I guess. Are you injured, sir? Is there something wrong? Uh. Sir. Oh, well, that's not fucking obvious. <laughs> oh, my God. And that's how my story ends. Oh, it was time. The cop, who <laughs> thought at first that I was injured, found the body in the stall. I'll be spending the rest of my days rotting in some prison somewhere. I'll never know exactly what happened to me that cold night in January in the toilet of an East End restaurant. Because as far as everyone else is concerned, I'm just a killer. Game fucking ended. Oh, game not loud enough? Okay, we'll turn it up. Well, let me know how that goes. Uh, okay, well now we know how to play. So that didn't count. So we're gonna try again. We're gonna try again. This is interesting. I'm excited to see what it's what it has to offer. I thought maybe the police officer moved one, once I moved the body, like it was generous, but no, he just he just got up, so I had no time. <laughs> Alright, dude. Uh, yeah, come here. Now I know what to do. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Let me know how that game sound is, too. Uh, Fox Art. Alright, less anxious. Perfect. Alright, good. Thank you. And you go here. Give me this. The knife. I've got to get rid of it. You missed the beginning. Well, now you're not missing anything because it's it's here right now. Yes, uh, there was like a beginning. It was my dude was um uh going between like psychotic states, like back and forth between like his life and like a uh, I don't know cultist's life. So it's like he was superimposed, but he was doing both those things at the same time, and he ended up killing that man. Nice, okay. Uh, there's something over here, too, wasn't there? Oh, yeah, can I just go pee? Huh. Huh. Nice. I'm not gonna wash my hands. Uh, okay, what else can I do here? Uh, let's leave. Get out this window. Oh, poor <sighs> Barred up. I can't get out this way. Okay. Give me that broom. Clean up this blood. Oh, wait. Was that it? Okay. I'm confused. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I have to, like, actually move. I have to actually move the right stick to do it. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. That's a fucking bloody mop, though. Okay. Uh, well, there's nothing else to do here. Oh, yeah. Clean. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm bleeding. I must have cut my wrist with a knife. Perfect. Both of my forearms are cut, too. Yeah, bless your shit. Okay. What's in here? All right, good. No one's in there. Oh, he's gonna leave. Oh god, I should, I should leave. I should leave. Get out of here. Oh 
god, oh god. Let's fucking run out the door, dude. Let's go. Let's hey, sir, you bill! No, lady, I can't pay. I just murdered a man. Oh, I like this. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Well, that's fun. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nobody goes anywhere. What? I can't go that way? The crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your ID. Wait, what is this guy? Hmm, looks homeless. Poor guy, out in this freezing cold. Wait, do I can just go back in the diner? Okay, it's closed. Hmm, better avoid going back to the diner. I have to get out of the district in a hurry. Okay, in a hurry, let's go. Uh... I live too far away to walk. Okay, I have well, to find another way to get back home. Can I take this, like, subway? Here we go. Get in the subway. Get, get the fuck up there. There we go. Nice. Ooh, that was a little intense. Should have given that guy the knife and just pinned the murder on this homeless man. Okay, nice. Got one, one part done. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of exciting, right? Kind of neat. I like the double uh, camera angle. That was pretty cool. Doc's dining. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets maybe. murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you I really want a do bitch, this. do it inside. That, that way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Oh, I get to play as them now. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already bad knew that this feeling time, about this. something was different. Ooh, raised eyebrow. She's inquisitive. Let's go. Huh. Oh, huh. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? What you got, Inspector? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Wow. Uh, ooh, um, victim. Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Kate, okay, sounds good. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found that the smell body. wasn't a toy that it was a dead to top body. It all, he exactly. Left without paying. Oh, I wish I Kate had that game. To talk so to him, then he left. It, it, that will not be the game when we get to uh, M. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Oh, if I would have paid my bill. Uh, waitress. Oh, there's a Is timer. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah. Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. Suck it it's up late. and I find this freaking murder. Get sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Simple. It appears in the top right screen. You can switch character. Oh, okay. What does he do? Interesting. Alright, you you be on the PK instead. Huh. Oh, okay, I thought I would like look at the food, but I guess I just sat down. 
talk to me, lady. Oh yeah, I got Kate? a new um. I'm Inspector Carla. A new uh, uh, little thing here. I'm if you want to donate to stream uh, through Kofi. Would you Thank mind you, answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. No, she does mind. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and, and left a nice tip. Nice. Have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts Dedication. of this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times, but like murder? Cinematic cuts. It's a new one. Johnny was such a nice guy. <laughs> Fuzzy assassin, welcome. Yeah, you knew it. You got it. What was he like, Kate? Do you yeah, think fair you and could I. describe You got the clue. Me? But I did have a little joke I earlier where I, I did seconds. pretend to start streaming I Ice Age just to throw you all average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was taking a he shit. He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit. Oh, new donation. Job. Oh, thank you. Stuff. New donation from Fox Art on Coffee. Oh, I appreciate it. Look at that. To anybody else. Thank you. That's really nice. You're my first donation ever. Did you ever. get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. Cute, yeah. <laughs> I set I it up so it would show the little, the little pop-up. Thank the you. The man had already Glad been here a while too. when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Okay. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. Oh, I let you use Venmo to donate? Oh, you can all donate to me through Venmo. I didn't there you even go. See John get Great. Up. Follow the Kofi page. Oh my god. It's okay. Don't worry. Kate, try to pull yourself together. You are our main witness, so I'm really gonna need your help. Kate, this man's murder is on your hands if you can't figure out what happened to him. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful, because that happens a lot here, people forgetting to pay their bill. Yeah. What happened next? The guy just ran off without paying. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized... Mm. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. A smooth murder. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You wait. Yes. I remember something. What I came got? back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push it. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. Never know these days. If I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Oh, God. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. Thanks. Honestly, you find the bastard who old did PS2 it. game? These People facial like animations are pretty solid. To live. Like, I've I seen promise. worse games on, like, we'll PS4, PS5. Oh, John's coming over. Martin will make sure you get or, him, okay? Or, Martin, coming over. <laughs> the option just to sit in any of these. Okay, anyways. Uh, what if I don't hit anything? Oh, it just stops, I see. Uh, Tyler, 
Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. Good old unpredictable Tyler. Wait, does Tyler have something to say about whatever her name is again? Oh, can he sit down too? Why can't Tyler have a seat? Why? Okay, here we go. Man, this guy is dying proof that pissing can be bad for your health. Wow. Right, no, I guess Tyler doesn't get to sit. But he doesn't get any of that. Steak and fries. Wow. Like you barely Steak touched and fries. <laughs> Can we look one more time at that? Oh, I can't. It's already over. There you go. Look at that steak. Strange. Oh Coffee's not on the bill. Hmm. Martin says this was the guy's table. Coffee's not on the bill. Let's go explore the... Yeah, run over there. Get out of my way. Let's explore the bathroom. Which must be over here. Yeah, I forgot I could change camera angles. There we go. Excuse me, I'd like some privacy, please. Several wounds on the left side of the chest and the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Okay. Oop. Nope. Come back out. Back out. Oop. Check yourself out. Make sure we're looking good. Fix the hair. I switched to him by mistake. Go back to her. Look in the mirror. Hey, there it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Duck on a mop bucket. There we go. <laughs> Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Interesting. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it, and we'll know for sure. Okay. Do I do that now? Like, do I use my PDA? Oh no. Oh, Tyler, you gotta you gotta feel better about yourself. Man. Let's see. I don't think there's anything to do here. Okay. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Hmm. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. But I'll take care of it. He's just, just peeing right in front of her. Tyler! <laughs> Look, this is a restroom, isn't it? Oh, wow. I can't believe that happened. No. This is a crime scene. It's cool. I'm done. Me all that coffee I've been drinking to try and stay awake. Damn, he just like let it out in front of, <laughs> and then I can't even have the option to wash my hands. Oh wait, there I can. Yeah, perfect. Uh, come on, come on, get over there. There you go. Hey, I think there's some blood oh, in the sink. Never mind, I went to wash Maybe my hands. Maybe the killer hands. washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. Wow, he's touching his face every pee. Crazy. Okay, it's time to leave. Carla. Carla, she's really something else. She's not always easy to get along with, but she's the best damn cop I know. Don't, Tyler. Did you find anything, Tyler? For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Okay, let's leave. Come on, let's go, Carla. I can't even keep my eyes open anymore. I want to take another look around. We haven't found the murder weapon. It might still be around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well then, you can do that. Let's see. it around. It 
interesting. Move the stick. I'm just gonna steal some of this coffee, apparently. <laughs> Is it just calming her down more and more? Here's his fork, but where's the knife? Ooh. That's the most frustrating thing when you don't get a knife with your uh, steak. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. Mm, maybe he's just crazy. Two people in one body. Or a book. The Tempest by Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. Thanks, Garrett. Uh, hey, is there a... There you go. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. I mean, I'm, I'd like to leave. Maybe if I just walk out the door, it'll be okay. Huh. There we go. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. There's no way you heard that. There was an eyeball here. Blood. The killer is wounded. Hmm. I feel like the killer left a lot of, um, a lot of evidence. Oh, new donation from Skuna. Oh, thank you, Skuna. That's so nice of you. Appreciate it. The, the, the link is working and you're donating. I love it. Thank you. If you're curious what my, uh, <laughs> I don't know if it says my support I'm doing is more video game storage. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully we can get more to, uh, get some boxes and store more games. Right now, my PS2 collection is actually just in old cardboard boxes from, uh, I think when I worked back at Timberland, which was like maybe, I don't know, or Under Armour 10 years ago. Long time. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> wow. What can I do for you? Cold enough for you? Yeah, well, luckily I got this. To keep me warm. A bottle of wine? <laughs> you want a little splash? <laughs> Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. The donation is Did earmarked you specifically to see for Saga and it's only a story. Okay, I can make that happen. Did I see Thank something? Uh, I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. Okay, I'm gonna go try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Damn it, Carla. Okay, so I'm like chasing myself, so I think I'm just gonna go over to the uh, the subway station and be like, maybe it's over here. Not much chance of finding anything nope. this far from the restaurant. Okay, well then, never mind. I'm gonna head back. I just become Tyler. me. Did you already fall back asleep? Tyler? What time is it? Oh, hell. When are you coming back? I won't be long, baby. Go back to sleep. I'll be there when you wake up. Catch you later. What was the point of that phone call? He called her just to wake her up to be like, hey, go back to sleep. Tyler's rude. Oh. That car did honk at me. I heard that car honk, and I was like, are they honking at me? And they were. 
Uh, how do I look ahead? Oh, I can't remember. Huh, get in front of this car. Yeah, get out of my way, sir. I need your vehicle. Oh, I can't get... Okay, fine. That's fine. Jukebox? How did I miss this? Oh, nothing to do, though. Come on, let's go, Carla. I can't even keep my eyes open. I can't open keep anymore. my eyes open. I want to take another look around. God, Carla. We haven't found the murder weapon. It might still be around here somewhere. I mean, he took it with him. I don't know what else I have to do here. Then we're going to go back to the toilet. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, can I go through this door? <sighs> Did. Great. I go back in that door. I can't. <sighs> the door only opens from the inside. Yeah, I'd be depressed too. Sorry, Carla. must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? He didn't know the cop was coming in. What is down there? You ever consider a career in plumbing, Carla? You ever consider a career in comedy, Tyler? Hey, everybody says I'm a very funny guy. Get him, Tyler. I believe your comedy career will take off. Okay, I don't know what else to do on that one. No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Do I have to make them all do stuff? Wow, he just reached on in there. Just what exactly are you doing, Tyler? I'm checking for clues. What do you think? without a glove or anything? You just reached in there? What if, if there was anything there, it's probably ruined now. Get in that door. Oh god, is he gonna use the bathroom here too? <laughs> god. Constantly flush the toilet. <laughs> the most awkward controls, Jesus. Uh, get back in there. There you go. It's gotta flush every toilet. Oh, the knife. <clears throat> Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives in toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. Great. Tell Garrett, have him check for prints on the handle. Okay. Okay. Uh, I can't walk straight, I'm sorry. Here we go. Oh, God. Which one of you is Garrett? Uh, can you go out of my way, please? Jesus. Oh, my God. There we go. You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's Zombie City. Uh, you should be out of here pretty soon now. <laughs> no, no, I can barely keep my eyes open. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. And she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. Hey, Garrett. Carla wants you to verify two or three things. 
Don't worry, I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget. I had a feeling that Carla was gonna keep us up a little longer. That's the spirit. Uh, okay, can we go now, maybe? Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh god, where am I going? Here we go. But how is this not close enough to talk to her? Okay, let me line up my conversation. Oh my god. How do I talk to you? You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if god, you want. Please don't, we're good. No, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. Cool. Carla agrees to go. Let's get into the car before she changes her mind. Gotta run to the door. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Getting out of here. I was like, I have to make Carla come too? No, she, she okay. Alright. That crow is still there. how this story will play. struggles you're working on here. I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Oh my head. Can I just leave without getting like close on? A steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. I can't make it stop. I have to go to work. Uh wait. Wrong way. Uh, I gotta go to work. There we go. Run to the door. Oh, wait. Never mind, my apartment's just frickin' huge. Who's out there? No one's out there. Oh god. Uh, don't know where that phone is, but I'm gonna hopefully- Oh, 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 there we go. Hi, this is Lucas Kane. I'm not here right now, so please leave Hello? Luca, it's good to hear from you. Could have been a message. I thought I'd call to find out if maybe you wanted to go to Mom and Dad's tomb together. And to be honest, I thought it might be a good excuse to get back in touch with you. I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. Marcus what are you talking Lucas? about, Lucas? What happened? I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the you park. You got a code red. See you there. Nice. I like how this scene could probably have been done if, or with clothes on. Let's go this is screen. Get something out of the icebox. If my only thing I have is milk. Desirable body. Ideal male design. Hmm. Oh. Duck. I don't know what that is. This duck something? What? Uh, go there. Oh, 
are you spinning? Bonus 5B? <laughs> What's that? to the pain, Sir Lucas. Okay. Weird. Ooh. And bonus X. on television. The body of a man was discovered in the restroom of an East End restaurant. The victim was stabbed several times with a steak knife. While just yards away, other customers were calmly eating their meals. Investigators are already on the trail of a suspect who fled the scene just before the body was discovered. Police have no other comment for the time being, but stay tuned for updates into this. And welcome, Alexander the Great. Am I scared? Uh, I am only a little scared. I'm like, what's happening? Not so much as super frightening yet. We'll, we'll see what happens. I wonder how much of the game I can play without putting my clothes on. Stab this man. <laughs> you didn't remember before. You have to remember now. The clothes that I was wearing last night are covered in blood. I better not leave them there. I'm, I'm not gonna wear them. Uh, when I was a kid, 10 years old, that TV scared the fuck out of me, especially when the volume was up. But yeah, actually, I hear it in here. I'm like, whoa, that was a little loud. I feel you. New York police, please open the door. Get ready. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, uh, oh God, am I supposed to hit a button with that? Images in my head. I must be losing my mind. Oh God, I'm so confused. Uh, okay. Uh, was the policeman actually there? <laughs> Hey, you're listening to KWN 605, and it's now time for the Weather Flash with Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Peter. My advice for today is dress very warmly before setting foot outside. It was extremely cold last night, and in some places the snow has turned into sheets of... Uh, I wasn't done listening. Oh, thank goodness. Alexander, did you play this game all the way through I when you were younger? Zarathustra by Nietzsche. I've read it so many times, I know half of it by heart. David Cage and his uh, philosophy, for sure. Come that should help my migraine. Notice reads, don't take with alcohol. Don't take with alcohol. Got it. Uh, I beat this game probably around five times. Oh, nice. This is my first time playing this one. So we're trying to do... Uh, New, new PS2 games I haven't played yet each week, so uh, this is this is our, our stream today. 
I've always heard really good things about this one. Well, I don't want to put clothes on. Uh, let's... Oh, nice. Wow, look at this interface. Let's check my emails. today, I see. Well, the world is always terrible, that's what I'm learning here. And you can get up. New York police, please open the door. Okay. It's the police. They know. They've, they've come to arrest me. Okay. Oh god, oh, I'm gonna run out. Police! Uh, open up! Just a minute, I'm coming! I cannot uh, find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. God, hide everything. Sir, hide, hide this, this is shirt. the New York police. I must insist that you open this door immediately. Oh wait, no, I want I wanna keep that. What are you doing? Where does this go? Why is my apartment so big all of a sudden? Oh god. Uh... If you do not open the door right now, Hang I will on. be forced to knock it down. You do what you gotta do, police officer man. That's <laughs> strip. <laughs> what other evidence even is there? I'm not even sure. I was too busy drinking milk and water to see all the evidence. Uh, is that the only one? This is your last warning. Open the door now, or I knock it down. That bar says I have more, more time before you run in here, so I'm gonna say that's that's the case. Uh, uh. Oh, my sheets. Uh, they're all bloody. Oh god, what do I do here? Um, yeah, here we go. Perfect. Okay, get out there. Open the door. Open the door. God, oh god, run. Why is it taking so long to load? Get over there. Oh, I don't know if I did it in Don't time. move! Oh, that's too bad. And that's how my story ends. The neighbors called the cops because they heard shouts coming from my apartment. Shouts. It didn't take long for them to find evidence of my guilt and link me up to the murder in the restaurant. Now I'll never find out what really happened. As far as the rest of the world is concerned, I'm just a murderer. Yep. Well, now I know that I need to go faster to get that door open, so we'll see what happens next. This is a uh, completionist speedrun I'm going to go through and make sure I get every possible ending for this game. <laughs> <laughs> New York police, please open the door. It's the police. I'll they think know. about they, it. Come to arrest me. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Police, open up. Just a minute, I'm coming. I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. I hope everything was just the bed sheets and that shirt. Sir, this is the New York police. I must insist that you open this door immediately. Mm -hmm. I'll be there soon, dude. Okay. Can I take a shower? Do I have time to take a shower right now? If you do not open the door right uh, now, I will be forced to knock it down. 
Maybe I'll just wash my hands instead. That's that's good. Perfect. Wrap up those arms. This is your last warning. Open the door now, or I knock it down. Can't hear you. I'm dressing my wounds. Forever, apparently. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, huh. Wait, what? It's locked? Just a second! I'm looking for the keys! Oh my god, I have to get the keys? Well, now I'm gonna lose again, Jesus. Don't move! Why do I need the key to open my own door from the inside That's of my how own my apartment? That's story ends. Story ends because your fucking keysmith is stupid. Okay, round three. New York police, please open the door. The police. They know. They, they've come to arrest me. <laughs> oh my god, he just runs like forever. There we go. Police, open up. Just yeah, a minute, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Okay. Sir, this is the New York police. I must insist that you open this door immediately. I would like to if things would just go faster. Oh. Uh, this. If you do not open the door right now, I will be forced to knock it down. How is there no option? I have to wash first and then I can get the things? There's like physically not enough time to do this. Okay, leave. Come on, go. Uh, where was that key again? It was over here somewhere, right? I'm not gonna make it. Oh my god. Oh my god, like, <laughs> don't move! How can you do this? There's like literally no time. And that's how my story ends. Okay, uh, I think that you have to... You can't do all of that, because I literally made no mistakes, and there's no way you can make all that happen. So, get fucked bed, we're not gonna make, make the bed. New York police, please open the door. The police. They know. They, they've come to arrest me. Police, open up. Just a minute, I'm coming. Oh my god. I can't let them find any evidence I making me a last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Sir, this is the New York police. I must insist that you open this door immediately. Sorry, I'm tampering evidence or hiding evidence. Maybe a little sense of urgency, please, Lucas. If you do not open the door right now, I will be forced to knock it down. This one takes the longest. We'll just cut this out next time.
This is your last warning. Open the door now, or I knock it down. You don't have to just look at the key. You know it's the key. Just go to the door. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get over there. There we go. Okay. You know, so you caught me at a bad time. I I'm sorry to make you wait like that. I, I was in the shower. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? The neighbors can mind their own damn business. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass, and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? Oh? Listen, I, I promise you, everything's fine. Uh, do you mind if I just go ahead and look around anyway, sir? No. Oh, <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. What happened to your wrist, sir? I just said I got cut on some glass, I told dude. you, I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Why is he just letting him walk around? I'd be like, no, please leave. Sheet. He's gonna see the bloody sheet. Get ready. Uh, oh, what do I do? I don't hey. know what to, what to press. What's this? What do I press? Stay where you are. None of those your hands things in the air, made, sir. made any sense. They don't match the colors. That's how my story ends. The neighbors. Oh my god. Okay. Do I hit like every button at the same time? I have to do all that again. I'm gonna be a little upset. New York police, oh please open the door. New York fucking the police. police. They know. They, they've come to arrest me. Police, open up. Just a minute. I'm coming. I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Sir, this is the New York police. I must insist that you open this door immediately. If you do not open the door right now, I will be forced to knock it down. crazy and not mess up getting this stupid key to open my apartment from the inside. This is your last warning. Open the door now or I knock it down. This is better. Why is the timer still going? What? Okay, good. <laughs> I, I'm sorry to make you wait like that. I, I was in the shower. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? It was me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass, and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? Sure. <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. Whatever. What happened to your wrist, sir? 
I told you I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? You know it. Never half-ass anything. I know I don't have a warrant, but I'm going to look through everything in your home. made bad that's suspicious thank you for your cooperation uh, sorry to have bothered you sir you know how it is with everything that's been going on uh, we prefer to be careful i understand long mr kane so long thanks good old neutral lucas oh god this the most frustrating thing is that your apartment locks from inside that's so, so stupid Okay, now can I go shower? Can't even shower to get this blood off my body. That's too bad. But I can use the bathroom again. It's the fourth time in this stream. <laughs> Made him feel better. I love it. Oh, I can play guitar? Let's do it. After what happened last night, I'm not really in the mood to play the guitar. Well, you better change that, because we're going to try the guitar right now and see if we can do that. of a of a dead man oh that's the name of the band so we had say goodbye santa monica no way out no surprise oh this this we'll do we'll do no way out So play, look at that. There you go. Bring in that breeze. I guess I'll put on some clothes. Marcus and me before the accident. What accident? Okay, let's leave. I'm gonna leave that leave that boom box on. occurred in East End Restaurant. An especially horrible murder was committed last night in the restaurant of a local restaurant. The killer is a man in his 30s of average height with brown hair. Band. I feel like I'm gonna like this song. I kinda wanna hear it.
We gotta go back to the detectives now. They're gonna interrogate Kate or whatever. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, let's just stick with Lucas. Interesting. I can immediately see why this game stood out. It's pretty unique, even nowadays, kind of unique. When Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable. He's the one who took care of me after our parents died. We kind of grew apart after he became a priest. But he's still the only person I really trust. The only one who might believe that I had nothing to do with all this mess. I missed you. It's Marcus. been a while. Two years. So tell me what's happened, Lucas. I've killed a man, Marcus. Why? Wow, you saw it right in the middle it of the park. It happened at a restaurant last night. It's like I was possessed in a sort of trance, like I was a puppet on a string. I saw what I was doing, but I was powerless to stop it. My God. I can't Again? believe this, Lucas. You need to tell stop me that it wasn't you. People. You're not capable of something like that. Look up. Look up. Uh, wrist. And there's this, too. You cut your wrists? Before the murder, I, I carved these symbols on my arms with a knife. I don't know if they mean anything. Hmm. You went to this restaurant alone? Yeah. Tiffany and I, we broke up about a month ago. I try to get out of the apartment as much as possible. It's just so empty there without her. You say that you were in a sort of a trance. That's right. What do you mean by that? Are you talking about magic? Or sorcery? Or something like that? Marcus, I don't have an explanation. I'm just telling you what happened, that's all. I'm only Damn certain it, about one thing. I'm not the one who really killed that man. Who else have you told all of this to? No one. You're the only person that I can trust. Obviously. There's something else you need to know. I know this sounds crazy, but after the murder, I, I had these premonitions, like I was seeing things that hadn't happened yet. While I was doing this horrible thing, I saw something, or, or rather someone. Somebody else there with you? No, it was, it was like a sort of vision. I saw a man in the middle of hundreds of candles, and, and there was this little girl. What happened to me, Marcus? What am I supposed to do now? Help you me, know Marcus. me better than anyone, Marcus. Help me. Listen, Lucas, I... I'm a bit lost here. This whole story is just so bizarre. It might be better. Maybe you should go and tell your story to the police, Lucas. Turn yourself in before they find you. Do you really think the police are going to believe a story like that? They'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life, and I'll never find out what really happened. I am a priest, Lucas. The fact that you have taken a life is a very serious matter. I told you that it wasn't me, Marcus. All these years and nothing's changed. You still never listened to me. You still never let me murder Lucas, anyone. Don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and my brother. Bits. I'm not a murderer, Marcus. You're the only person I can trust. I'm just asking you to believe me. Very well, oh, Marcus. I'll do whatever I can for you, but I can't do anything that goes against my beliefs. Look, I, I need to get some answers. I'll, I'll call you. After I murdered Here. someone else? You need this more than I do. Oh, Marcus, I don't understand how he's holding you that. know like... that I don't believe in all that. Oh, he's holding it like a pinch. Yeah, take it. Oh, plus one life. Thanks. There you go. Fucking crow. Oh, 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 God. 
kid. He's gonna slip on the ice. I've gotta stop him. God. The cop in the restaurant. If I don't do something, the child will die. If I do do something, the cop will recognize me. What am I gonna do? It's uh, Jean Valjean. Uh, I mean, go to the kid. So cold, I think. Well, that kid fell really far, really fast. There he is. He's lost consciousness. Quick, I've got to go back up before I run out of air. I don't know how long that is, but oh god, oh god, come on. Swim, Lucas. I need you to swim. There you go. We just fucking strong arm that kid up there. <laughs> Never mind, like, being completely frozen with this water. You're just getting out like nothing's happening. I'm out of here, dude. I'm out of here. Run away! Hey, I know who you are. Don't move! Oh, thus my wow. story ends, because by the stupidest of chances, I happened to run into the cop from the restaurant as he made his rounds in the park. It was one chance in a million, and I bought the winning ticket. I'll spend the rest of my days rotting in prison. I'll never know what happened to me that cold January night in an East End restaurant, because as far as the rest of the world is concerned, I'm just, just some a, murderer. Some murderer, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I guess that kid's dying, so sorry, young boy. I'm doing pretty good about making sure I lose it every chance I can. This is honestly impressive. Do I just... Maybe I could have saved that kid. Oof. If I had it to do over again, I'd gladly sacrifice my life to save him. No, because then I but lose. It's too late now. Maybe it's my destiny to live with the remorse for the rest of my life. Oh, I just let a child die. God damn. Not intervening to save him means I'm still free to try and find out what happened to me. But honestly, not a day's gone by since then that I haven't regretted that choice. Makes sense. Okay, so I'm learning that we got to take everything for uh, for selfish reasons to keep playing this game. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't save that child. Well, I saved the child and then I lost. So I mean, it's really the really game made me for a murder a child. Once I start working on a case, I can't think about anything else. Well, I guess condemn a I'm child. Exhausted. I haven't gotten precisely. a wink of sleep all night. Something's <clears throat> bothering me about this murder, but. I just can't seem to put my finger on what it is. Hi, Carla. How you doing today? Hi, Doug. Not too bad. Is Tyler here yet? No, not I know of. So, ready for that big retirement? Eh, working on it. <laughs> Work. Run up these stairs, see what we got. Oop. Go the right way. I want to go over there to. Oh, thanks. Find me where I work. Hey, Carla, can you tell your partner to pay me back that hundred bucks wow. he owes me? I've this been waiting six typical, months for it uh, now. Early two thousand. Can't like help a... you there, Jeffrey. Talk Dude. to him about it. He's been avoiding me like the plague. Plus, you know, you're the only one he listens to. Catch you later, Jeffrey. Ah, uh, Jeffrey. Office politics. Hi, Carla. Hi, Garrett. Oh, wait, Carla. I got some results back on the tests we did for that restaurant murder. Great. As soon as Tyler gets here, we'll come and see you. Okay, I'll be at my desk all morning. Nice. Oh, I see. Coffee bot is back. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll turn down the frequency of those those alerts until we get millions of viewers. And then I need to be to be there more often. Uh, 
Okay, let me check my answering machine. Is that what this is? Oh. Oh. Tyler is still not here. I'd better try to give him a ring. Tyler. What's this? Ooh, basketball. There we go. Tyler still hasn't gotten Quantic rid team. of his basketball. Funny, I thought I'd been pretty clear. Thought I told him no fun in the office, yet here he is having fun. Okay, there's no way that little cup could take that much water. <laughs> Give him a ring. Let's sit down first. Now ring. Wow, what terrible posture. Oh my god, her neck, it's like broken. <laughs> yeah. Know what time it is? Oh shit. Get a move on. The waitress is coming this morning to flesh out the composite on the killer. I'm on my way. Thanks, Tyler. We like the uh, interracial uh, relationship they got going on. Uh, I have a bright idea. Oh, no, it's just the light. Uh, yeah, let's waste electricity. She is, like, terrible. Uh, okay. That's my mail from Valium. Reaper value. Uh -huh. Hi, from Tommy. Sorry, I wasn't able to give you you any news for a while. I've been very busy with my job. Lots of kisses, Tom. Okay. It's all it's happened all before. before Kirsten. What's that supposed to mean? How does she have my email? New York municipal elections, Donatello embarrassed by a rise in crime. More snow coming. Pakistan is still giving the world an ultimatum. Uh, search for words, Kirsten. Oh, it's just like X-Files. Classified file. Hmm. So it's a name associated with a case. Too bad. I would I mean, like to find out more. You search the presumably the city of New York's police department for a keyword Kirsten and found one and you just that, that I don't know, it seems a little strange. You got a different keyword? Nope. Oh, yeah, give me those things. Five bonus Vs. We have V-Bucks. Let's see. Oh, I could be, I could be uh, Tyler now. Come on, Tyler, time to get up. Let's stay a little longer. Mm, sorry, babe, but I really gotta go. I'll make some coffee. Okay, I'll grab a shower, get dressed, and then I'm out of here. Nice. Ooh, look at this room. We sit in this, this fun chair. Five for a minute. Five and... Look at myself again? Yeah, there it is. Hey, you're a good looking guy, you know that? Wow. Love his optimism. Oh. 
Why did this music start? <laughs> uh, it's you did ask for a shower, and now we are taking a shower. Uh, based on this music, I feel like something else might happen, but I don't really know. That was... Why did it play that music? I don't get it. <laughs> The amount of times you go to the bathroom in this game is just crazy. This has to be like a fifth time. Oh. Yeah, I want that. I wanted to see that unless I peed, so great. He was just really feeling himself. Yeah, he was. Exactly, in that in that shower. Alright, let's get some clothes. Go. You should be making coffee, number 31. It's broad daylight outside. I think I'm a little early. Oh. I'll give you five more confidence points for checking myself out. A statuette of socks. One of the characters in my favorite video game. What what game? That's probably an Easter egg from. I think I think uh, Quantic's first game is like the Nomad Soul or something, but I don't really play PC, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's from that. Uh oh, Sam looks like she's sulking, and I know what's bothering her. We're out of coffee? No creamer? Go back to bed, Sam. You're gonna catch a death of cold like that. I'm not cold. Oh, look, Sam, please don't start. I got no intention of dying today. I'm mm. sick of living in fear like this. Every morning I'm, I'm terrified that something's gonna happen to you. It's nice. Oh, um, ten. I know how you feel, Sam. You just need some time, that's all. I don't like to see you like this. You know that, baby. Perhaps look at that well, bar, what if like, you quit? so low. Do we I could move lose? to Florida and take over my parents' store. We'd have a normal life. And we could have a baby. Sam, have you been to Florida? I'm not ready for a normal life yet, Sam. Right now, I belong here. You need to try to accept me for what I am and what I choose to do. Damn. I thought I picked the one that was not firm. <laughs> My kids, you're gonna kill, Kenny. This is what happens over here. Ooh. I think I'm gonna head out, Sam. Hope you're okay. These crazy couches. Oh, I was like, can I kiss her? And then actually you could. <laughs> That's really funny. Perfect. I love you, Tyler. Love you too, Sam. Bye-bye. Hi, Tyler. Oh, uh, Carl is looking for you. Yeah, I know. So, you ready for retirement, man? Yeah, <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm already late. No point in making things worse. I'm going to Where is this music coming from and why?
Where is he? I don't see him. I got to run into walls. Hey, Tyler. What's up, Frank? Oh, it's this guy. He's got the, the green hands. Let it crawl. Tyler, what do you know? Just the guy I was looking for. Oh, shit. You remember that hundred bucks I loaned Don't you about six coffee. months ago? I'd really like for you to get that back to me as soon as possible. Like maybe now, for example? Problems. Yo, listen, Jeff, I got a little cash flow problem at the moment. Nothing I can't handle, but, you know, it's pretty tight right now, and... Tyler, I'm gonna be frank with you. I don't really give a shit about your problems. I want my hundred bucks right and guy. I want it now. Yo, let me make you a deal. I'll play you a game of b-ball for your hundred bucks. If you win, I'll give you two hundred bucks Ooh. right then. Don't but challenge him. Lose, He's got a basketball on his cool. desk. He'll give me two hundred bucks if I win. You got my word, man. All right, you're on. Oh God. Well, but quick don't time, even lose. think about not paying me if you lose, because that... Don't worry, oh, Jeffrey. I'll come rings. by and see you when I get five minutes. This music. Why is this here? The waitress hasn't come in yet? She won't be long. Garrett got the lab results. Shall we go? All right, let me hang up my coat. I'll be right with you. Okay. See you in a minute. <laughs> Hanging up my coat should take five seconds, but it's going to take like three minutes in this game. Oop. Yep, see? Exactly. There you go. Like his uh, blue camouflage he's wearing, this fleece jacket. Yeah, give me the basketball. Uh, he's got some skills. Hang on the computer. Check my emails. Penis enlarger, gain up to five inches of sheer pleasure. Results guaranteed. Why wait? Free estimates. Wait, hang on. It's from www.wantabiggerd.com. Oh, wow, that probably is a website. Right, let's look on this one that's a virus. Millions already infected. Install the attached file to prevent the infection. Uh, your system at Quantic Dream Software. Tyler, I'm sorry I hassled you with my worries this morning. It was stupid of me. I'm so terrified that something might happen to you that I sometimes forget how important your work is to you. I hope that one day I'll be able to convince you to change your life. Love you, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate the help. Life sentences for 200 peer-to-peer -peer pirates. Oh, yeah, this is back when piracy was a thing. <laughs> Los Angeles court announced life, life sentences for the 200 pirates convicted of illegally downloading MP3 music files from a peer-to-peer -peer site. Uh, yet again, the court pointed out that these pirates are common criminals and deserve particular, and deserve no particular leniency. Recording companies announced that they were satisfied with this verdict. <laughs> Damn, son. Old Wave makes you the new victim. Oh, he's got new news. Now China is preoccupied by the situation in Pakistan. Oh, it's developing in-game. That's cute. China would respond to an American intervention in any way of China's... If in any of China's neighboring countries, an unofficial source has reported the mobilization of 500,000 Chinese troops at the Sino-Pakistani... Interesting. He's got no one to look up, but it makes sense. Cool. Let's go, uh, let's go interrogate Kate. Interrogate. So, what do you want to start with? Uh, blood. What about the pool of blood in the stall? You're not going to believe this. The blood wasn't from the victim, it was from the killer. 
What was he doing bleeding in the stall? I have absolutely no idea. How do you know it was the... Did you find anything on the coffee cup? The only prints we found belonged to the waitress. That's impossible, man. That cup was half empty. Somebody must have drank it. Hmm. Were there any prints on the book that was under the table? Yep, and they matched the ones on the fork and the glass. So it was definitely his book. It looked like a fairly old book. Maybe we can get some more stuff out of it. Hmm. What did you find on the knife? Got some good prints off it. They matched those found on the fork and glass at the suspect's table. So, the murderer was definitely at that table. Anything on the blade? I'm getting to that. We definitely had blood from the victim, but the weird thing is we also found blood from the killer. So, what well, do you think bleeding. about all that? I don't have any explanation for the blood in the stall. The victim could have wounded the killer during a struggle, but it doesn't make sense that it would be in the stall. It's as though the killer wounded himself. Mm. Hey, why not? You get clumsy fools in every other profession. Why not killers? That's I mean, kind of a flimsy explanation, Garrett. Well, to each his own, Carla. I do the testing, you figure out the reason why. Thanks for your help, Garrett. Thanks for nothing, See you later. Garrett. I'm a kid, that was fine. So, what do we do now? You go take care of the composite. I'm gonna go check with the coroner and see if he got anything from the body. Okay, catch you later. Get to split this up and do both of these actions? Maybe we only get to do one. Computer misses. That man was a wacky inflatable tube guy. Yeah, he kind of was. Uh, oh, well, I could be Lucas again. Um, Carla. Actually, I want to see what Carla's got to do. Check out the morgue. Oof. Multiple stab wounds. 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, the name of the game. I wonder if it has anything to do with it. Does he know you're there? Did you say, like, hey, I'm here, or are you just waiting? Turn around, like, oh god, what are you doing here? Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. The dead body. <laughs> As you wish. No apparent hematoma on the body. Okay. Two broken fingernails on the right hand. What do I do there? I don't get it. Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. Uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. I see. Oh, no, that's not right. Abnormal dilation in, um, uh, both pupils. What am I supposed to do? I failed every single one. Three knife wounds between okay. she's the gonna, third and She's going to throw up on the body. Of the, heart. <laughs> uh, the blade was driven in deeply. Oh, God, what the do I do? What do I do? The stabs have been delivered from the front and move from left to right. I don't know what to do. How one do I play the game? <laughs> neatly cut the aorta. And the other two cut the left and right coronary artery. Oh god, Carl's hey, really gonna pass out. Chance. I don't know what I'm doing. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Uh, I'm just gonna say nothing. It was definitely the knife wounds that caused his death? Yes. yes. The three arteries leading to the heart were cut. Uh, the heart was literally uh, disconnected from the rest of the body. Hmm. Do you think the killer had some knowledge of anatomy? Oh, move the analog it's stick. Not impossible, oh, but God. I doubt I'm hitting the face buttons, and I'm like, oh God. Me to do this. You really have to be deranged to want to provoke a slow and agonizing death in this manner. I should have done the, the tutorial. I didn't do that. I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly Thank you, the same. Three it. stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten? Kirsten. Oh, God. Yes, that's it, Kirsten. 
You know about that case? Oh god. Not yet. But I'm sure as hell gonna find out. Not really. Uh, sorry that I failed every possible interaction on that situation. I had no idea. Let's interrogate, and then maybe we'll do Lucas. We might. Get... Come in. H hello, detective. Hello, Mrs. Morrison. Uh, thanks for taking Please, the trouble to seat. come down. Uh, please take a seat. Now we're gonna try and assemble wow, coach a composite photo of the suspect. Why is she still wearing her like? Uh, we have a computer program to help for us. work. You'll see, it's really simple. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morrison? <laughs> no. Ah, it doesn't matter. You're gonna do fine. The most important thing is to Have try to remember exactly game? what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay. Let's go. Oh, oh God. Uh. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay, not really sure where I should go with oh, where I should go with this. Oh. Oh wow, that that chin though. Okay. Now, is this the face of the person you saw? Uh, wait. You could say yes. Yes. At least th that's how I remember him. Not Thank at all you very similar. Much for your help. <laughs> We're gonna get this picture out to all the airports, trains, oh and bus God. stations, and to all of our patrolmen. If this guy is still in New York, we're gonna find him. And go buy yourself a video game. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I did that well either. Oh man, I don't I'm not really even sure what my guy looks like. I'm so bad at observing. <laughs> Speaking of my guy. <laughs> burning with fever. I was shaking all over. The migraine was back and drilling holes into my brain. And to top it off, I couldn't keep any food down. My body seemed to be fighting against something, but I still didn't know what. Possession? Well, you gotta wash your hands. There you go. Uh oh. Again, I guess. Wash the pain away, Lucas. Gotta just live my life no matter what. Don't raise any suspicions. Despite the state I was Run in, I decided office. to go to work as though nothing had happened. I'm in charge of computer. You okay, Lucas? Uh. You're all white. Oh, got a little cold, that's all. Got a little cold. Wow, look at this monitor set up. Pretty advanced for his time. Oh, God. Okay. Tiffany and I. About two years ago, I guess. I haven't been able to throw it away yet. Today's the day. This one. 
Oh, well, that's the same one. This one. What? Oh, the rosary? Oh, excellent. More rosaries. Lucas, you okay? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Hmm. Lucas Kane. Hello, Lucas. Oh, hello, Tiffany. I left a message on your machine last night. Um, I'd like to come yeah, and pick up some stuff. Actually, I fresh in your store. They've been dexterous. Yeah, exactly. Could I come over tonight? Uh, yes. I should be back home around 8 o'clock tonight. Okay, it won't take too long. Are you doing okay, Lucas? I gotta let you go. I'm doing a thing here. Bye. I'm trying to acquit myself with murder. You don't mind calling back in 5 or 10 minutes? Oh god, again? What? Failed! But I did the right stick. Yes, sir. We'll get on that right away. Station 62 is down. I'll go. Okay. No, forget it. I'll, I'll handle it. Whatever you say. Yeah, sure. I want to look at my computer first. I want to look at my computer first. I can't look at my computer, I guess. Okay, never mind. I've been locked out of my computer by... Simon says. that a thing? Oh no. A little bug. Multiple bugs. We've got computer viruses.
can't really see what's happening on the action. I keep having to focus on these things. Nice, get it. Get it. <laughs> The dead man. Two faces of the same serpent. One in our world, the other in the other world. Woe to he who sees both sides of the snake. No! Oh god. The green bugs. No! What about my coworker? Is he like, Locus. bro, are you good? Lucas, okay, what you happened? Go. Ah! Can you hear me? Are you all right? Hey, you've hurt yourself. You're bleeding. Those are your arms? I, uh, I gotta go. I didn't have the slightest idea what had happened. Me neither. The one thing I do know, those things almost killed me. Hmm. Weird. Well, now that I know how to play the game, <laughs> I could have done better on the interrogation scene or whatever and the uh, autopsy. Jeez. A little bit weird with the color choice. Like, it's hard to actually see when it's, like, green, but the background's also green. Like, not a really good, good choice. I felt empty. After what happened in the office, I began to wonder if I wasn't going nuts. I'm so totally exhausted that I can't fall asleep. I'm afraid of the dreams I might have. I wander around the room a little. I guess I'll go to sleep when I can't keep my eyes open any longer. Just like Tyler. Nice. Well, I think that might be our uh, our end time for today because it's getting kind of late over here. Um, but yeah, that was that was uh, Indigo Prophecy. Uh, Fahrenheit is the alternate name. Uh, that game was great. Look <laughs> about being totally honest. That was fun. That was uh, a, a great game to, to play through and just enjoy. And I feel like I want to see the rest of this one. So maybe um, later on we'll see more more of this stream coming through. Um, I wanted to say thank you for all of our, our watchers today. Uh, Skuna, Prank Can, um, who else is here? Box Art was here, Fuzzy Assassin. And thank you, Alexander the Great 707, for dropping by. I appreciate your uh, help on how to play and uh, stories about the game. Really, really love hearing those. Uh, also, this is our first first day where we had our, our, our Kofi bot here. So if you can donate to the stream and, and support me, I, I love my coffee. So that's wonderful. Uh, appreciate uh, we got some donations today from uh, Foxheart, from Skuna, from Prankan. I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for uh, supporting stream and um, supporting my coffee edition. That, that's great. Uh, so we will uh, finish up here and we'll hopefully see you all again next week. Uh, what letter comes after I? It's a J, right? Um, I know what J will be, so uh, hopefully next week's J game, you can get your uh, brains thinking what you're going to be uh, thinking that game will be, get your guesses ready for next week. We will uh, see you all next time. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night. Bye-bye.